What's up guys? Hope you guys are enjoying this super warm weather like I am. If you're in Baltimore, anywhere near here, it's been 75, 80 degrees all week, which has been a blessing. Um, so not only has the weather been great this weekend, this week and into this weekend, but there is a per one game in particular that I am super excited about uh, that we're gonna preview today, kind of help you guys figure out what to watch, who to watch, and that is the UMD versus UNC game. Terps versus Tar Heels, classic matchup happening this Saturday in UNC at Chapel Hill. So here's the game preview for the UNC UMD game. Go Terps. So like always, the UMD UNC game is going to be fast paced. There's gonna be a ton of transition, really good competitive matchup. These two teams are always facing each other in championships, NCAA championships, ACC championships back when Maryland was in the ACC and they still regularly play each other in the regular season. So this is a great game for youth players all the way up to post-collegiate players like me to watch. Um, so much entertainment, so many entertaining things are going to be happening on the field, um, but expect a really ga great game, really close battle, um, and one that fingers crossed the Terps come out on top on. So here are some of the key matchups to watch um, specifically so that you guys can learn a little bit and understand kind of why teams do what they do. So one key area that I think is going to be really um, important for uh, this game and where I think it could be the winning and losing deciding factor is the draw. Um, so you have Callie Hartshorn and Megan Syverson from Maryland versus uh, Marie McCool and who I'm guessing is going to be Charlotte Sofield for UNC. So the, between the four of them, they're probably going to take a majority of the draws on Saturday's game. and. Like every other time you take the draw, it's kind of a cat and mouse. Callie's really good at getting it to herself. Marie can go up to herself or out to the circle. Um, so I have a feeling those two are gonna be the two particular people that are taking the draw. Um, so it's gonna be an interesting battle to see who wins, not only to themselves, but can get it to that circle. Um, Maryland has a very fast circle and so does UNC. Um, so I think that draw battle in the middle could be the make or break kind of little, uh, intangible or tangible factor for this game so make sure you guys keep your feet your heads on the center of the field one area in particular that i think is going to be of really importance to this game is maryland's offense versus unc's defense so unc's defense is relatively young they lost a lot of seniors to graduation last year um and maryland has a pretty strong attack coming back lots of players who got a lot of minutes last year uh, players who, freshmen and sophomores who got a bunch of supporting minutes last year who are now able to play full on. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see how UNC's defense reacts to um, a pretty stacked offense and then making sure that UN Maryland's offense doesn't take for granted a UNC, a relatively new UNC defense. One thing for certain is that Jenny Levy is going to have that defense in order um, so they won't look new, I'm sure. So that's going to be a really interesting battle. Um, to see kind of who wins that matchup. And then vice versa, uh, Maryland lost a few people on the defensive end, particularly Nadine Hadnagy and Morgan Torgler, two very strong defenders um, for Maryland. And UNC has a pretty seasoned attack as well. There's some new faces, um, but there are also a lot of very great uh, rare turners for UNC. Marie McCool, who just finished up a World Cup um, this summer, is coming off a really great summer with US has a ton of leadership, ton of uh, veteran experience. And then you have um, other players like Ella Hazar and Olivia Ferrucci is coming back from an ACL that I think could make um, can make the Maryland defense pay if they're not paying attention to cutters and um, making sure they're playing good one-on-one -on -one defense. So Maryland lost a lot of uh, people on the defensive end, but they have a pretty strong unit led by Julia Brague, um, Megan Doherty, Alex McKay, transfer Kathy Rudkin. Um, so they're still trying to find their groove, but I think that could be an interesting matchup as well um, in that area too. Last area, um, goaltenders got Megan Taylor, All-American goalie, goalie uh, defending goalie of the year, versus um, two, K two goalies for UNC who like to flip-flop. So what I've noticed in the first couple games is that they've been subbing both goalies in. Um, I don't know really anything about them, but UNC tends to always have really great goalies. They've had Kaylee Waters and Megan Ward in the past who are phenomenal. So the goalie battle, again, just like the draw is an area that could make or break this game. 
So players to watch this game, I would watch Jen Giles and Marie McCool. They're two top-notch midfielders who kind of put the team on their back at points. Um, so how, and they're veterans, so watching them handle the pressure and maybe give their team a spark when they need it. Those are the two players that I'm really interested in seeing, not only how they match up against each other, um, but how they lead their teams. They're both phenomenal people, phenomenal players. Um, it's kind of interesting, I have people to root for on UNC now, but um, I love Marie, I love Jenny. Um, so it's gonna be, it's Jenny G, it's gonna be an interesting battle there. So those are your two players to watch. Watch their dodging, watch their leadership, just watch how they take control. So with that, that's your UNC UMD preview. Um, as always, I'm hoping my Terps come out on top, but I'm also just hoping for a really great game. Um, so make sure you guys watch it. Pretty sure it's on ESPNU. But good luck, Terps. Good luck, uh, UNC. But go Terps! Bye, guys. One last thing. Winner of the giveaway is Ella Fornick. So make sure you DM me on Instagram to win your head. Bye, guys.